Dignified. Welcome back, guys. Jet Scott here, as always, in the day. Oh, I forgot to put the tools away. Damn it. But today we're working on old Jesse Bell. And uh, today is going to be a scary day, to say the least. When I say scary, I mean scary in the sense that what I'm about to do to this car can either make or break her. And uh, we got a bug. Just going to focus on old Mr. Bug right there. Because, uh, see this roof? When I bought this car, there was a lot more paint on this roof. And, uh, well, that's all that's left. And the rest of this is bare steel. And, uh, yep. Whereas it's not pitted, and it's not really getting... It, well, that's normal. But it's not getting any holes through it, but uh, I'm nervous about how many more years I'm going to get lucky with not having uh, holes in my roof. Because, you know what? I've seen convertible chargers, and they look like shit. And I really don't want one. So uh, I've been experimenting with different paints and primers and all this sort of stuff. And I came down to, there's really only one paint and that's that stupid B5 from Automotive Touch-Up that doesn't match. It's a hell of a lot closer than my other options. So, but we're gonna paint this roof the wrong way because we don't want it to be nice. We want it to rust back through, we want the rust to come back up through the blue paint so we eventually it looks correct. Because when this gets done, it's not gonna look right. It's just going to take time, just like real patina, to uh, look correct. So, uh, yeah. Um, don't even bother writing comments about how I should clear coat it and leave it alone, leave the rust. Because uh, by the time you watch this video, it's done. There's no point in even trying to tell me what to do. Because, oh, well, again, it'll be done. Whether we love it or we hate it, it'll have to grow on us. Just like this door. That is totally the wrong B5. Oh, that's not even B5. That's like uh, some kind of GM blue. But uh, I mean, it's fairly close. But uh, yep. Oh, I'm just putting this off because I really don't want to do it. But it's got to be done. Because a convertible charger is a lot dumber than a car with a painted roof that doesn't quite match, but better. So the whole idea here <coughs> is we're going to paint the majority of the roof. Obviously, down through here, probably get rid of all this ugly that's from the seam sealer. We're going to paint up to here, mask off the trim. Obviously, all the trim, all the glass got to get masked off. The idea is to fade the blue down to the lead seam. And the reason why I don't want to paint the lead seam is because I want that to be visible. I love the lead seam because it shows what a hard top charger. The quality of work that Chrysler did to the lead, I mean, it took a real artisan to make this lead seam as nice as it is. So I don't want to cover that up. But it would be nice to cover some of this up, but this always looked kind of cool how it looks like that. So, I don't know. This car will get clear-coated someday, but I just got to get all my lettering done. and I'm not much of a lettering kind of guy, so we got to do something else. But... All right, I've stalled enough. I got to just do it. That's how you do things. You just got to shut up or nut up. You got to get to work. So let's get at her.
Yeah, you guys already saw that color and the damasking, and let me tell you, it's pretty awful. I mean, it is just absolutely freaking awful. I did test sprays, and the test sprays came out nothing like this. This is awful. Really bad. You know, Automotive Touch-Up has had a bad rap with me for really screwing the pooch in B5. And yet again, I don't know, camera looks pretty good, but see, I went ahead and I just threw a paint on here because this was always just like pure rust, but the whole roof is painted. Took about three cans, and of course, I don't know where all this crap came from in the middle of spraying. Could have been from the big old tree, but it's already dry to the touch. Uh, it's supposed to have a clear coat on it, but the clear coat, according to the automotive touch up, darkens the color. And well, we definitely don't want to go, I guess we do want to go a little bit darker to match up with this stuff. I don't know. But regardless, this does look like ass. You know, the hard tape line and everything else, this really looks bad. You know, and the cans were messing up. They were dripping paint everywhere. And I know, get out a paint gun, but I don't feel like using a paint gun. And some of my tape failed in places, you know, I'm just gonna be honest, I got some on the glass and some on the trim over here. That'll all come right off. But uh, this is not the last stage of this. Wow, that looks really different from this angle. I don't think I've ever seen Jezebel with a painted roof. That looks really weird. You know, we got a lot of work to do. But the eye, what we're gonna do is what we've done on every panel on this car that's had to have paint touch up, which is all of this back here. That's all been faux patina back into place. Same thing with over here. You can barely see the transition. So we're gonna do the same thing with the roof. The roof's gonna be a little more tricky. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come at this thing with a lot of sandpaper and a lot of water. We're gonna wet sand this baby and we got to make these edges from hard to feathered just like this so we're gonna let this paint harden over a couple of days hope we got a nice day coming up because we're gonna go to town and uh really sand the crap out of that to try and make it match better because it's oh it's awful i can't look at the camera i can't look at the car it's bad like i said once we get at sanding this thing we're gonna make it look a lot better and as you saw, I didn't prime nothing because I want that rust to come back through. I know it kind of defeats the purpose, but at least now this has got something on it to kind of protect the metal. So we're gonna let this harden over a couple of days. We're gonna leave the car uncovered and uh, let that stuff really harden. And then we're gonna get the sanding and we'll show you what it looks like once we get it done. Alrighty guys, well I apologize for any kind of wind noise. Yesterday was really, really windy. And I was going to show you a time lapse of me making this roof look a little bit better. And this roof isn't done yet, but it's not getting any less windy. So I figure I'd go ahead and show it to you. I need to get a little bit more blue just to kind of dust into here. Because when you step way back, it kind of looks weird. car looks really weird with a blue roof let me tell you i've been seeing this car for several years without it that looks really strange of course get a little bit on the cowl because that was just pure rust a little bit on the fender and, you know i'm fine with admitting this is faux patina but like i said i don't want to have a convertible charger so this side much more happy with this faded it in down to here we kept our lead seam like i wanted to Okay, let's go talk about it. So yeah, unfortunately, I wanted to, you know, do more filming, but it's so freaking windy out that it'd just be a terrible video. In fact, I don't even know if I was able to isolate a lot of the wind that was happening out there just a minute ago. But uh, the roof is not done by any means. It's just a lot closer. But I got other things I got to work on, so I just wanted to show you how that's coming out. Look at that. We can sit right here. Yeah, we got more weather to do, and of course... As this car sits outside without a cover on it and it gets rained on, snowed on, that's going to really fade in properly like it's supposed to. The idea is just to give it a little head start 
and make it look a little more natural. And I think we did a pretty decent job. Looks pretty okay. And we do have a contingency plan if we really don't like it. Went to Hobby Lobby with the girlfriend and, uh, well, we bought some foo-foo stuff. And by foo-foo, I mean this is lace. And lace is technically a traditional 50s thing. But I have seen some 70s drag car with lace on the roof. And I've been doing some test sprays. Let's see here. Stupid MSD box. Yeah, we did some test sprays with different colors. See, there's just standard gold. There's red uh, candy, blue candy, which you can't even hardly see. The red oxide, the gold candy, which made yellow, and then a little bit of silver. And then more test sprays. You know, just been doing a lot of test sprays, seeing how it might look. In fact, the blue candy looks pretty good on that one. But um, yeah, just a lot of test sprays. We got some experiment to do. If we want to make the roof a little cooler, just a little cooler. But sorry guys, I was hoping this video would have been a little more in depth, a little more in tune. I know we used the shit out of this roll masking tape but hope you enjoyed this one i know it wasn't nothing fantastic but it's something so let's go take a look at it one last time before we close you out I like this angle right here. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.